Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to be doing an introduction to Figma slides and I'm going to be checking out the product with you. I'm going to have a link to the product or this particular page, which is figma.com slash slides for you to access as well. So you can just try using slides immediately. You don't have to wait for 2025 or anything. You just need to click on this try slides button. Once you do that, a slide uh, UI is going to open up and then you can obviously get started. So I'm going to click on get started. We have a bunch of templates here available. Uh, let me just close the proxy down because I don't think we need it. Um, so we have a bunch of these templates available for us. Let's just probably go ahead and actually use this template at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and actually play around with this one. So click on use template. We're going to have the template slides inserted here. Very similar to how you can switch the design and prototype tab. You can switch the design and animate tab here as well. You can have a simple transition between these slides and you basically have your text. You can go ahead and actually apply uh, changes to it, do whatever. Uh, obviously, the important feature that a lot of people are interested about is you can change the colors and the color of the whole slide is actually going to update and the text stuff is also going to update as well. So you can add different slides here so i'm going to add this one i'm going to go ahead add another one maybe uh this one and let's go ahead and add another one and let's just go ahead do a image here as well and let's go ahead and actually just complete it okay so that's do they have a complete slide let me just have a look at it or a done slide maybe it's, it's just like this one so these are all the slides i can go ahead and i can click on preview to actually present it and very similarly they also have a grid view where you can go and you can view everything you can also add another row completely and you can have multiple slides in there uh, in order to move complete rows you can actually move them just like this or if you want to place let's say one slide let me actually just include an actual slide so if I have this slide, I can actually move it here or move it here. And we have stuff like this. Once you do this, your things or your slides are also going to be grouped in these categories. So this is the 10th slide. Below the 10th, we have these others. This is the first one. Below that, we have these other slides. So this is a grouping as well now. So I can combine and collapse this grouping and I can move this complete grouping from here as well. But I'm just going to press Command Z because we don't need all of these things for now. This, is what, this was just to show you how the grid view works. We have present and present notes and add your notes just by going to the bottom here. You can click on this and you can start adding your presenter notes. So in this, uh, in this presentation, I'll be presenting something about the syllabus at our university or something along those lines, right? So very similar to what we used to do previously, we can also go ahead and actually bold this stuff. We can have italics. Let me just see if we have markdown. Unfortunately, we do not have markdown and it doesn't seem like I can actually update this text or increase the font size of this text. So that's a bummer because I can't really have headings, but maybe uh, that's not really that needed or that much needed. Okay, so in the animate thing, we can also say that I wanna have a smart animation or I have wanna have a push or a slide in. So let's just see how this animation actually works. I'm going to apply this to all slides. I'm going to play it. So we're going to go ahead and actually present it. Unfortunately, I cannot present it directly just to look at it. But OK, so we have something like this. Obviously, it's moving on the other side. So we probably have to go ahead and say that it's going to push us uh, towards this direction. You can also do a smart animate. And in the smart animate, let's just see what the effect is going to look like. I think it's going to look uh, not really that different. And since I only applied it to the first slide, I need to click on apply all slides, but that's pretty much uh, straightforward stuff. If you want to animate something like, for example, if we have this ball here, I'm going to click on this ball. I'm going to move it here. And actually, instead of moving it there, I can just move it here. And instead of keeping this ball here, I'm going to keep this ball. And now it's probably going to animate this ball as well. Similar to how auto layout works, I'm pretty sure you all of you are familiar with it. So now if we, let's say, move to another slide, the ball is going to go up. So we can do a lot of fancy stuff, definitely. Um, so that's okay, I guess. Now coming to uh, some of the other views, we have the presenter and this particular note view. So the note that I've written on the right is going to be here. We have the slides here. I can go one by one and I can read everything if I want to. 
They also have some other views. So if you actually go at the top, they have the audience view. So I can just see what the audience is seeing. So I can know that, okay, they're not really, again, looking at uh, some of my screens, even though for some reason, I don't know why this audience view doesn't work, but never mind. I can also have a completely note view so I can see, okay, which slide is active and I can just focus on my notes instead of seeing the whole slide, which I think is good. You can obviously share the presentation similar to how you were doing it previously. So pretty straightforward presentation stuff. I mean, if this was for free for Figma designers, I wouldn't really mind it, but I honestly do not know why they're charging extra for something like this. But anyways, uh, let's see. Hopefully they actually make it free for us designers, but uh, it is what it is. Another thing that you can actually do is I can duplicate this slide and I can say, okay, uh, give us your thoughts. And I can have some live interactions for this particular thing as well. So I can have a poll. So I can go here. I can have this poll. I can decide whether this poll should be light or dark. So I can actually match it with some of my uh, design decisions. I can also go ahead and choose it to have a background or to not have a background. Uh, it's completely upon me. So some basic controls are definitely there, which is good. I can ask a question. I can add some options. I can go ahead and add another option. It's dynamic, similar to how widgets work in Figma. So this is good. Uh, what other options do we have? We have this particular thing, a stamp if you agree. So people are going to come here and they're going to click it to stamp uh, this, which is a nice interaction. The, we have the alignment scale. All of this stuff has the light and the dark thing. So I can just go ahead and do this to actually have the stamp maybe somewhere here. I can have the alignment scale here and I can view all of these things uh, and my uh, employees or the people that I'm actually giving this presentation to can have a look at it as well. You have basic shapes if you want to add them. You have the table if you want to add them. You have images if you want to add them. So this is pretty straightforward stuff. If you click on plus, you can also have access to your libraries that you can actually go ahead and directly include here. Uh, which is going to be useful once we actually have a lot of libraries for Figma slides. Now, before we go forward, I would like to let you know that I've recently introduced my premium Figma Noob to Pro course that's going to help you take your design skills to the next level. It has topics covering from the basics to advanced topics like auto layout, prototyping, components, you name it. So if you really want to take your design skills and not only just design skill, but your earning skills and earning potential to the next level as well, definitely go check out the course link in the description. Additionally, I have a voucher code for you guys as well, especially my subscribers and viewers. If you use the AM subscriber voucher, you're going to get a 50% off on that as well. And last but not least, I can actually go ahead and duplicate this slide. I can say this is my amazing prototype and I can go ahead and I can include let's say a Likert scale about something uh, and I can say okay what do you think impressed or whatever uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a let's say one of my applications I'm going to copy the link by pressing command L or control L I think on Windows Let's just go ahead and actually make this dark I'm going to paste the prototype link directly here and it's going to insert your prototype brilliantly uh, without necessarily doing much. So where we have this prototype, for some reason, this image is not moving. <laughs> I don't know why, whether it's locked or whatever it is. For some reason, okay, it's animating directly. Okay, now that I switched my screens, it actually started working and it's allowing me to move it. So that's good. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually just see how this looks when we're actually presenting it. So we're going to go here. We're going to say, OK, this is a prototype. I'm going to click on it to enable this prototype. And then I have this prototype load similar to how a prototype loads in Figma. And then we have get started. I can click on the plus button. I can click on a card. I can do this. I can do a bunch of stuff. And I think it's pretty much working how I expected it to, which is pretty good. And I can say, OK, this looks really good. And I voted. So that's there. I don't really see my result or any. I think I should have at the very least should have seen my vote here, but I don't. So that's not really that good. But other than that, I think this product is good. Hopefully they actually really, really, hopefully they actually release it for free for, for people who actually have a paid plan and they don't actually ask you to pay anything extra for it. But let's see, fingers crossed. Let's see what Figma thinks about it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon and I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.